this is just an, an additional video that a few people in the comments had asked me to go into more detail about how I made my fuel bladder system to give me increased fuel duration for whatever you want, whether it's um, longer cross-country flights or for something like the Icarus or whatever. But if, if your normal fuel tank doesn't give you the duration, this is a flexible, small option that can either sit in the pocket if you ever landed out. It doesn't weigh a lot and doesn't take up much space. So there you go, there's, there's the fuel bladder all folded up um, with everything in it that I would need to, um, to add six litres or an hour and a half's extra duration to the current two and a bit duration that I'm already getting with the uh, um, with reserve uh, on, on this machine, which is a Mosta. So I'll make another little insert video for you, which I'll do in my workshop to give you all the, the ins and outs. But effectively, this is how I would fit my system to my machine. Dry brake connector, fuel cap, standard fuel cap, modified fuel cap, round the outside. This is my reserve bridle. Must, repeat, must go underneath. If I was to pull my reserve, it will rip my fuel system with it and I will get covered in fuel. And that then velcros there. So effectively you've got an open line system, noticing this bit just to stop it abrading and giving it a little bit more resistance when it's in place. Just attaching at the lower point of my reserve bridle so it's not having any negative effect of my reserve is just two um, carabiners. And it's literally, once you're in the harness, it's pretty much the last thing you connect in because I've tried doing it a number of ways and trying to get these. Uh, your wing attached, so almost get your wing attached, then put the fuel system on. This is the hydration adapter, again I'll run through that in the workshop and all the other bits and pieces that I either tried to make work or couldn't get to work, just so that you don't have to make the same mistakes. And everything here that I've used, I'll give you links in the description for your benefit so you haven't got to go hunting around. And then that is the system complete. So I'll start with the crux of it. It's the Mountain Safety Research 6 litre bag. This is the standard bag as it comes with the hydration, the normal uh, nozzle that you use for drinking from it. I did try, I say I'll go through all my mistakes just so that you don't have to make them. I did try and make a fitting for the cap that comes off this. And there are so many flanges and other bits and pieces inside that by the time you actually get the um, the barbed connector inside or filed down to fit in it it just leaks so i thought okay i'm spending money here i may as well then go and buy the hydration adapter this is the hydration adapter it is completely different to the standard nozzle and this just unscrews and this one just goes on in place and that's how it connects This is the other half of it, effectively all the, all the pipe work and the, the, the normal part of the drinking system that comes with the bag, because as I say, it's designed for water, is um, this is the connector. I'll point this out straight away. I pinched this seal. I don't know if the camera can make that out. I pinched that seal and it leaked. So I've got some other ones that I carry a couple in the pocket now, just in case it, um, it leaks while I'm away. And, and it means the bag effect becomes absolutely redundant. Other components, this is the on-off valve uh, that I'm using. All the components here, everything I'm using, I'll put links in the description. So you haven't got to go hunting around for it. I'll, I'll show you where I got it from. Um, I don't get anything from this, but I'd rather you guys have a, at least a fighting chance. These are the barb connectors that I'm talking about, the, the, uh, the tank fitting connectors. That's how they work. 
I've showing here a fibrous washer. The tank, which you've probably seen in the other video, shows the vent coming out. That's actually the barbed connector that uh, is in the tank. What I actually did was I fed a bit of wire through the hole that I drilled, back out the cap. I fed this on and then pulled it up through and then put the nut on with the fibrous washer on the outside and that meant that I uh, had very few options for the fuel to get by past this point. If the nut was on there it would then start to leak out through the nut and onto the fitting so I thought it best to do it from the inside out. Cap. So I'll start from the fuel tank forward. This is actually my normal normal um, tank cap. You can see you've got the one-way or two-way valves to let um, to allow air to flow in and out. Effectively, I've just got a very, very small screwdriver. Push the whole lot out, which leaves you a small hole, which I then opened up and then put the barbed connector through, having already clamped some fuel on the inside. You don't have to put the fuel, fuel tubing on the inside. I just opted to do that myself. And then ran the pipe forward. I found um, that when I was fitting it, that this pipe was starting to pinch because of where it's been pulled over. This is just some flexi um, cable wrap um, that just gives it a little bit more resistance while it's um, in position and going around the arm. That then comes forward to the uh, the male part of the dry brake connector. Again, I'll put links for these in, on the, um, in the description. And that then attaches with some Velcro on some webbing to the arm just to keep it in position. So that's the main tank forward. That's how I've done that, that half of it. The other half of it is this um, is the female dry brake connector underneath the heat shrink. Again, it's just to give it some more um, robust nature, so it doesn't get too too crimped. Is I've mentioned them a few times. Is these double eared hydraulic connectors? They come in a pack like this with a pair of pliers. I didn't have the pliers. If you do have the pliers, the size I'm using is nine to eleven mil millimeter. So that's the, uh, the double lid connectors. This is the hydration forward. So literally a small piece of pipe through to the on off stop valve, through to the dry brake connector. And the reason I've done this, so the dry brake connector seals as well, means that if that either accidentally gets left on like that, or that fails, as in fails through, then that is also gonna stop any fuel coming out. It's just double double um, hatting everything to make sure there's some element of redundancy. Um, and then this system quite literally threads onto here. One thing I mentioned a few times in the other videos is the vent I've got attached to the side of the frame. This is a, a standard sprinkler. It doesn't need to allow too much air to flow. Um, but all I've done is I've bolstered these points with some PVC tubing um, just, to, just to widen it out. And then that will then go through to the barbed connector in the top of the tank, just allowing air to flow in and out of the tank. Um, so that's the sprinkler um, on off stop valve, air stop valve. As you can see here, this is my complete fuel system giving me six litres of additional fuel, which my current burn rate is about four hours. So thank you for watching this video. I hope it's been of some help. This is not a manufacturer approved system. This is my version that I've seen uh, others achieve with great results, but I just thought I'd show you in detail how I've made the system as I couldn't find anything online and I've just gone through and, and, and brought all the pieces together that hopefully will be helpful to you. But as I say, strapping fuel to your chest is not manufacturer approved and is done at your own risk. But as I say, uh, I hope the video has been of some help for those that do wish to try this system out. But until the next time, thank you for watching and fly safe.